This lamp was part of the Del Ridge family house, and we decided to keep it rather than sell it. It existed at the kitchen table, and my father would have his chair right under it, and he had a rather tall chair, office chair, uh, where he could easily reach the pull chains to turn on a light. At the cabin, we have very low chairs, and you had to get up off of your chair or be an orangutan to actually operate the lamp. So what I did, I took, followed my father's advice or aesthetic, including, including, including pieces of jewelry he made. Uh, this was part of a necklace or something, I don't know, it never got off the ground. Uh, this, these two little anchors, he had decorated with rope, and they had been hanging over there somewhere, and I added them here. So now, we can operate the lamp while sitting down. So, see how nice this works? And my brothers were thinking, I was crazy. This is the nice flamey one. And then there's, there's this rusty railroad tie or something. And we can call ourselves to our Buddhist tea. But uh, my brothers were saying, Pierre, don't junk up the cabin. Well, okay, I'll take them all down. And you can have an orangutan sit down here next to the ch lamp and ask it to turn the lights on when you want to. You know, what the heck? Where's the, this is the one that I have in the morning. But I, I like the, the sort of swaying. Oh, a loon. No, I'm not talking about the person talking. I'm talking about the bird. Bye.